Oh man. Your mind's about to be blown. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All Hello, right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing it's time for your boy to reveal to y'all a huge 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 revelation based on what we've seen so far in the game and what i know from the zelda universe now i've been every single zelda game and so this is my theory based on what we've seen what's happened in past zelda games and why this makes perfect sense and the answers are right in front of our face first let's talk about the title tears of the kingdom i think everyone has it all wrong when it's concerning the actual title of the game when you, we hear tears of the kingdom, a lot of people are thinking tears like crying. The kingdom is crying or someone is mourning. Uh-uh-uh. Tears as far as ripping. Tear. You know when you tear a piece of paper? Tears of the kingdom. And here is why. First, so first the title. When it says tears of the kingdom... I do not believe at all that it's talking about crying or tears, crying, something to do with tears, physical, physical tears. Even though in past Zelda games, there have been like teardrops that Link had to collect. But this is why it's completely different in my opinion. And it could actually have both meanings. There could still be tears, in, uh, tears of the kingdom as far as tears, um, which I think was in one of the trailers where it had the shape of a tear and a pendant. But that's not the major reveal of the title. Somewhere while we're playing the game, we're going to be thinking it's tears, crying, and it's going to end up being actually a rip in the, in the kingdom, specifically a rip in time dimensions. This is why! All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right, so in my opinion, tears of the kingdom means to, it's going to be actually tears a rip in the time dimension and here's why this dude right here we're going to start it off with this right here to start the theory off demise this is demise i said it when 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 we were reacting to this live as soon as they showed the red hair and they didn't show his face i was like oh this is demise because later on in the trailer, they're going to actually show Ganon his full face. And that's why I know Ganon, Ganondorf is not the final bat, um, boss battle in this game. Why? In previous Zelda games, they always reveal the sub-final boss before the full boss battle. Girahim. In Skyward Sword, he was revealed early on. Uh, we all thought, oh, he's going to be the arch villain. But Zelda always does that. Even in um, Twilight Princess, there was like a main like villain all throughout. And then at the end, they reveal who the final boss is, which is usually Ganon. But in this case, they show him early on in the trailers which has me my bets are demise will be um the final boss but check this out this is why this is where the whole tears comes into place bro exhibit a was demise what game was demise the final boss in this game right here skyward sword watch this small clip and i'm gonna show you why tears of the kingdom watch this watch this this is a dungeon this is one of the best dungeons 
in Skyward Sword towards the end, the Time Crystal Dungeons. I've talked about this plenty of times before. Watch this. Watch this. Watch what happens when the beetle touches the crystal. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's about to be a tear. Y'all saw that? Something changed. Everything changed in that dungeon. What happened? Those are time crystals. And once those were hit, booyah, the constructs. Constructs in um, Tears of the Kingdom, they were in Skyward Sword. Look at these constructs come to life. When did that happen? The, these time crystals caused a tear in the dungeon where you're actually playing in a dungeon and parts of the dungeon is in the present and parts of the dungeon is in the past because of the time crystals. Bro, time travel has already been confirmed to be in Tears of the Kingdom. It has. Um, when they were doing the gameplay um, presentation with EJ Numa. He said, how do you go back up to the islands in the sky? Through time reversal. I'm telling you, it's all in front of our eyes. Through time reversal. So pieces of the um, islands in the sky, they fall down. And to go up, um, to reach those islands in the sky, you hop on one of the rocks. And then you use, uh, you reverse the time on the rocks. And they actually reverse back up in time this let's I, mean, I think someone already mentioned that um time crystals were in one of the trailers something like that and so i really believe in tears again i'm, I'm there's going to be tears there's probably going to be the tear drops and that's in the game but that's just a a diversion to the real tear in the kingdom and it's going to be time tears in the kingdom see there's a teardrop those are the teardrops. And everyone is thinking that's what Tears of the Kingdom is. It's more than that. There's going to be tears in the kingdom of time warping. Of time warping. And that's how Demise is back on the scene. And I'm not, I wasn't 100% sure. I think, is it Ubosa? I don't know if that, that was Ubosa or the, um, um, the little girl in... Um, um, Breath of the Wild, and she's grown up now. Um, I didn't pause it to check it out, but the legends could very well come back into this. Uh, the four legends of the past, even though they died through tears in the kingdom, they all come back and they're helping to battle demise. Now, here is my big fingers crossed and would be so dope for an end game. A Zelda. Oh, I thought I had it up. I deleted it. A Zelda multiverse. Let me put it back up. Where was my search? Link. Bro, a multiverse final battle. And this has happened before. We think, you y'all remember Avengers Endgame where Thanos in the final battle all of the dimensions tore open and all the superheroes returned and they've all fought Thanos at the end. Bro, what if the same thing were to happen against Demise? And really, there's been a multiverse in um, Zelda before. Ocarina of the Time, Ocarina of Time sort of, where he travels um, back and forth in the present and uh, future. What if um, because this is what I believe at the end of the trailer where Zelda says, Link, you must find me or something like that. I don't believe she's talking about find me in the present time in Hyrule. I believe finding her somewhere in time, like she's traveled to a different dimension, not a dimension, but a different place in time. And how lit would it be the final battle against Demise? All of the links, different links from different um, time periods. They all, the kingdom just tears apart and they all come in together. You got Minish Cap Link. You got Ocarina Time Link. You got 
Twilight Princess Link. You have the Golden Link, Link to the Past, and they all come together. They all appear through the tears, tears of the kingdom, and the final boss battle against Demise. So, based on uh, what I've seen on in the in the third trailer, the last trailer, right here, that's that's Demise, and um, the whole time D Demise was in Skyward Sword, where they had the whole time crystals and the tears in the dungeons, whereas past and future and the constructs. All of that was from Skyward Sword. There's so many Skyward Sword references, the floating islands in the sky. It all makes sense that time travel, something with time travel, because that's that's those that the whole thing towards the end of uh, Skyward Sword, those um, time crystals, the dungeons in the past and present. I think that's going to play a major role in Tears of the Kingdom. So, hey. It's my theory on the game and what I think will happen. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think about Tears of the King, Tears of uh, the Kingdom? Are you hyped for the game? Super hyped for the game. My game of the year, in my opinion. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Link's Awakening Link is going to tear through the kingdom and fight demise in the end bro if this happens y'all gotta call me the goaded youtuber of all time bro <laughs> hey but i think something like this will happen with, as far as the tears of the kingdom sound all right we out we out we out where's my homie etika we out of here outro this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose Shit when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy Ob1, my boy Ob1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip, and he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot, a lot. I'm picky with that. Um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Obi -Wan. Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two out. Thank you. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, man. Four, 25. 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said it.